Hi everyone, I'm Paxton from the UWorld College Prep Team, and today I want to show you how to approach mixture problems. Now this is a very difficult problem on the SAT, and one we have gotten lots of questions on. So let's use the light board and figure this out together. So this question says, how many liters of a 24% glucose solution must be added to 2 liters of a 9% glucose solution to obtain a 12% glucose solution? So to solve mixture questions, you can use weighted average, but I'm going to show you a way that organizes all of this information into a table to make it a less daunting task, and then you'll be able to solve a linear equation instead of doing the weighted average. So let's take a look. All right, so mixture questions are all about adding two solutions to obtain a mixture. So let's picture this. We have a 24% glucose solution. That's our solution one. So let's draw a little picture, get used to what this is really asking. Here's solution one, and we're gonna say solution one is our 24% glucose solution. We're adding that to Solution two, and when you mix those, we get solution three. So you're adding them together to get solution three. So in our case, our 24% glucose solution is solution one. Our 9% glucose solution is solution two. And you mix both of those to obtain the 12% glucose solution, which is the mixture or solution three. Another thing that you want to remember during mixture questions is oftentimes it will ask you for a concentration or volume or amount of a substance in a solution. And an important equation to remember is that concentration equals your amount of your substance, which in this case is glucose, divided by the volume of the solution. So this concentration equation is an important equation that you need to know for these types of questions. So we're going to fill out a table that has all of this information in it for each solution. So let's take a look. We have solution one, I'm just gonna call it S1. Then we have solution two. And finally, we have solution three, or the mixture. Okay, and we're going to identify these values for each of these solutions. So we want to find the concentration of each solution. We want to find the volume. And we want to find the amount of glucose in each. So let's use our stem to get this information and organize it. All right, so solution one, it says it's a 24% glucose solution. So 24% as a decimal is just 0.24. And let's keep going with solution one. Now our question asks how many liters? So that's what we're trying to find in this question is how many liters of 24% glucose solution or solution one in our case are we trying to find? So let's assign that a value of X because we don't know. And then finally, the amount of glucose for solution one. Now this is where this equation comes in handy. If you rearrange, you see that the amount of glucose in solution one is equal to the concentration times the volume. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna multiply the concentration times the volume to get the amount of glucose. So 0.24 times X. Now, let's look at solution two. Same thing, let's go back to our stem. The first thing we notice is that solution two is a 9% glucose solution. So 9% as a decimal, 0.09. Our volume is given to be two liters, so volume is just two. And then our amount of glucose, again, we're multiplying concentration times volume to get 0.09 times two, which is just 0.18. Okay, now our mixture. So we remember that solution one plus solution two is equal to our mixture solution three. In our stem, it gives that the last solution, or the mixture, is a 12% glucose solution. And 12% as a decimal is just 0.12. So, 
our concentration of solution 3 is 0.12. So if you pour solution 1 into solution 2, you get a volume that is equal to both of these solutions. So it's just an addition problem. So the volume of solution 3 is x plus 2. It's the mixture of x plus 2. And then our amount of glucose, remember it's concentration times volume. So we'll multiply 0.12 times x plus 2. All right. So there's a lot of steps in this one. This is why it's one of our most questioned problems, because it's a, it's a difficult concept. But setting up a table kind of helps us organize our information. And our SAT question bank has a full explanation over this, so make sure you check that out too to get more details. But let's keep going. So we're trying to solve for the value of x. And basically, each of these is just an addition problem. So to solve for x, we could use our volume, but that's just going to end up as x plus 2 equals x plus 2. So that's not really going to help us out. But if we add our amount of glucose of solution 1 to that of solution 2, we're going to get our solution 3. So let's, so let's set up an equation with that information. We have amount of glucose in solution 1 is 0.24x plus in solution 2 is 0.18 and then equals that of solution 3. So now we have an equation with x as a variable. And remember that x is what we're trying to find, the number of liters of solution 1. So let's take a look at this. The first step we want to do is distribute 0.12 to x plus 2. All right, so after distributing, we get 0.24x plus 0.18 equals 0.12x and then also plus 0.24. Okay, so now Let's subtract 0.12x from both sides to start getting x on one side. So doing that, you get 0.24x minus 0.12x is just 0.12x plus 0.18 equals 0.24. And then let's get x by itself. Subtract 0.18 from both sides to get 0.12x equals 0.24 minus 0.18 is 0.06. And then finally, divide both sides by 0.12 to get x equals 0.5. So with all of this information, we've solved for the volume of solution 1, or the how many liters of a 24% glucose solution, is 0.5 liters. And remember, when you see mixture questions, make a table to help organize all of your information. Ooh.